Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I am super, super excited to see all of you guys today. I'm super, super excited for this video. I think there's going to be a lot of very, very valuable information that could make or break uh, your attempt at starting a reselling business or just a business in general. I'm going to speak through the lens of my reselling business, but this could be applied over a whole gamut of different industries and businesses. This is a very set list of transferable information that can be applied to, like I said, a bunch of different businesses and industries. Uh, it's gonna be kind of encompassing entrepreneurship as general, but like I said, I'm gonna speak it through the lens of my reselling business because, well, that is what I do. Yes, today I'm gonna talk about the three most crucial things you have to understand before starting a reselling business or any business in general. Uh, but before I actually get into the meat and potatoes of this video, I just wanna introduce myself super, super quick. My name is Jacob and I own a full-time online reselling business, primarily selling uh, soft goods and clothes, some sporting equipment on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. I've been doing it full-time for almost four years now, which is crazy so i've seen a lot uh and i kind of know the ins and outs a little bit even though it is ever evolving i'm using this youtube channel as a way to document my day-to-day -day practices as i try to grow and scale my business into something uh hopefully really really special one day i think it'll just be cool looking back at these videos like five years from now seeing the little incremental growth in my business uh and obviously I'm here to help you guys along the way through the successes and my failures of my business as I attempt to scale it. Uh, that's kind of the purpose of this channel. I'm super, super happy you guys are watching this video. And if you wanna be a part of this really, really cool community we're growing here of like really smart, uh, entrepreneurial and business-minded people, obviously hit the subscribe button. That is a fantastic way to stay up to date with all my videos. I just hit 500 subscribers, which is I never thought I'd do it. It's crazy, it's awesome. Thank you guys so much. Also, you've heard the spiel before, the YouTube algorithm loves it when you hit the like button. So go ahead, hit the like button. I cannot appreciate it enough. Everybody who hits the like button, you guys are seriously the best and I cannot thank you enough. Uh, and lastly, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, hit me up in the comment section down below. I would love to talk to each and every one of you down there. All right, so that's me, that's who I am, that's my spiel, let's get into the video. Like I have been saying, I'm gonna be speaking through the lens of my resale business, uh, which I've been doing for about four years now, and it has been my pretty much full-time income uh, throughout that entire time frame. Uh, and I have seen the ins and outs, and I've worked with a lot of different people, and I've seen people uh, try and succeed, and people try and fail. This is my experience as a full-time reseller do, uh, running a six-figure reselling business that is currently growing. But these are my experiences uh, and I'm just trying to help you guys out. So, so let's get into the first crucial thing you need to know before starting a resell business. And the first one is it takes a bunch of time. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, you're going to be working 70, 80 hours a week. And, and granted, yes, that will absolutely help your business and help accelerate things. Uh, but like many businesses and many other industries, it really just takes a good chunk of time to kind of get your business rolling and kind of get your foot planted uh, and, get, and get, get a steady footing in the industry and, and and what i really mean by time like i said i don't mean you know you got to work 80 hours a week and and things will start working and yes that, like i said that will accelerate things but it could be multiple years until you start seeing like a full time income uh produced in your business uh or if you're trying to replace a current full-time income like let's say uh you have a traditional w-2 job and you're making a full time income already it could take a long time uh, and kind of, it could be kind of a slow burn to replace that income. Uh, and using my business as an example, like I said, I've been doing this full time for about four years. I've actually been doing it a little longer, uh, kind of part time in my very, very first year of doing it, working a lot of hours. I only made about three thousand uh, dollars, which is crazy looking back on it now. And times were obviously 
different back then, but that 3000 business uh, turned into about a $16,000 business the next year, and then into a $30,000 business, and then uh, almost a $40,000 business, and now a, well, six figure reselling business. But it took me many, many years to start generating what I would consider like a real full-time income. I think that's something that a lot of people really misconstrue but the truth of it is, which I also try to portray in my videos, is that it takes a lot of time and it's not something that will happen overnight. I mean, you've probably seen some of my vlogs, uh, working long days in the cold. Uh, what I'm trying to say is it's not always glamorous and it's not something you're gonna be able to pick up right away in, in a month or two, like, like I think some people assume you're gonna be able to uh, replace your full-time income. I think that's kind of something, uh, uh, and that's kind of a hard lesson some people have to learn. I, I've had countless number of people who have wanted to get into the reselling industry thinking, you know, that, you know, they, they, they see me being able to work on my own schedule and produce my own income. And I, there, there's something kind of glamorous and attractive to that. Um, granted, all of it is hard work, uh, but they think that, you know, this is something that they can do. And absolutely, I believe anybody with the right mindset and work ethic can do it, but they kind of step into it with the expectation that they're going to be able to, well, replace their full-time income rather quickly. And I would warn anybody with that mindset, to be honest with you, I would say you at least have to have a two year minimum window to really just uh, uh, grow your business uh, uh, if you're considering replacing a full-time income. Uh, and with that being said, you either have to have some sort of robust savings or you're just willing to work it as a side hustle for a very long time until it can kind of overtake your full-time income, which is what I did to a small degree, especially that first year where I only made a little over $3,000. I had several other uh, small businesses I was working on as well. Uh, but when I started to see that I could actually make some money with this and I went full-time, I just lived really, really frugally uh, the next few years uh, in order to build it into something that I have today so time it takes a lot of time remember that uh and don't expect to replace your full time income overnight it could take a lot longer than you think all right now the second thing you need to know before you start a reselling business is that it is extremely inconsistent there is absolutely no consistency to this business at all and many other businesses are the same way everything is always changing your income is always going to be different and yes you can hedge this with a few different things and you can kind of get your business down to a few certain formulas and you can kind of not expect a few things but you can kind of have an understanding of how your business works but trust me your business and the industry is always going to surprise you things are always going to be different it's always different what's selling and and how much you're making and, and i've had days where i'd sell 50 60 items in a day and then the next day i'll sell four or five items or make a thousand dollars one day and make 80 to 100 dollars the next day it's really just the nature of the business and if you're somebody who's really really used to a very steady and consistent income you know that you're going to work x amount of hours and you're going to make x amount of money and you budget it that way this could be a very very hard industry to get into because everything in this industry can be taken for chance and it can be very hard to see some resemblance of consistency in your business and i've worked at this for a very long time wanting to have some sort of consistency and and, and you know to be fair i have a little bit of an understanding of the consistency of, about my business like i can kind of have an understanding of well um I, I i really want my business to do this much this year but that's about the best i can do and i'll set goals for myself stuff like that and that's a way you can kind of have some sort of consistency but it is not going to be any sort of consistency like uh like a, a regular job or a, or a salaried position so my biggest advice to somebody who's coming into this industry from a salaried position or maybe just a typical W-2 job that is pretty consistent, uh, I would really, really recommend having a pretty robust savings. And also I would recommend having a pretty frugal mindset. I mean, those are really the two things that can help hedge against the inconsistency in this business. Obviously, if you can live on very little money uh, and you don't have to you know, produce a ton of money 
at a certain time uh, in order to meet your living standards. That's going to be a very, very big hedge against the inconsistency. And obviously, you know, saving speaks for itself. If you already have money saved up, you can kind of plan around the inconsistency a little bit better. But really, guys, this business, like many others, has a lot of ups and downs. Uh, so be prepared for a roller coaster. And I know some people are not fit for that. Uh, like I said, I've helped people kind of establish a business uh, that they that they kind of wanted to take full time, but it just turned into a glorified side hustle because they couldn't adapt to the inconsistencies and they slowly fizzled out. So word of advice, this business is very, very inconsistent. Okay, so the third thing you need to know before starting a reselling business, and this one might hurt a little bit, but I'm being completely honest with you, and this is just from my experiences trying to help other people it is not for everybody uh, and it's probably only for a minority of people. Uh, and this kind of can tie into my first two tips I gave you. It's very inconsistent and people tend to have a very, very tough time with that. Uh, and it takes a lot of time. So you have to be somebody uh, who has a certain amount of risk tolerance, uh, both with the inconsistencies and the time. Like I said, I've helped people who, who who I even thought that would they, they could be cut out to do it for the long run, but there is something to be said about a very secure and consistent income and job. To be perfectly fair, I have never really had a very consistent and secure job in my entire life. Uh, I've always been self-employed, so I don't really have a full understanding of the appeal to that, but I can see why the short-term burdens of this industry and in my opinion, with this industry, in order to build a, like I said in my first tip, a good full-time income, it takes a lot of time. It kind of grows exponentially. Uh, unless you're independently wealthy or something like that, and you can throw a bunch of money at it right away, you got to start out slow, and it takes a while to reinvest uh, all your profits until you get to a point where you can uh, uh, start to see it kind of scale up. And in businesses, it really is an exponential growth and that very very first part can take a long time and it can be very very tough for a lot of people if you're not frugal or if you're used to a full-time income and something super consistent it just isn't cut out for a lot of people you you have to be a very certain minded type of people you have to be willing to live on a lot less than you make and you have to be willing to uh, basically go with the flow with the roller coasters of your business and you have to be very very diligent about reinvesting your earnings uh, until you can kind of see some sort of light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, and that first, until you reach that first hump, it can be very, very grueling. So with my experience helping people, uh, it, it's been uh, very tough for a lot of people. To be fair, I know a lot of people work regular jobs before getting into an industry like this. And there's such a drastic difference between how this industry is structured and how a typical job is structured. Uh, and if you're already used to how a typical job is structured, I think that disconnect uh, can be very hard for a lot of people. Like I said, unless you're a certain uh, minded person who can uh, uh, really live without for a long time. As much as I wish everybody was, and as much as I, I think a lot of people think they are, I don't think everybody's cut out for this business, which can be a very hard truth for a lot of people. To be fair, I'm kind of speaking through the lens of a full-time income. I think a lot of people can uh, have a very successful side hustle with this business and make uh, a, a extra few hundred dollars, you know, maybe even an extra thousand to two thousand dollars a month doing this. And I think uh, people can live a, a very good work life balance doing it that way. Uh, but if you're coming into it with the expectation of replacing a full time income, I think it can be really hard for some people. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think a lot of people are cut out for it. That's just my hard truth. It's just what I've seen. It's just, uh, and, and I have seen people be very happy just making a few extra hundred dollars a month on the side. And I've also seen people who have actually turned it into a pretty good full-time, uh, full income business. It can go both ways, but I have seen more people drop out of it than I have seen people stick with it. So that's my hard truth. Some people need to hear it, so I'm not gonna shy away from it. All right, so that's it. Those are the three most crucial things you have to understand before getting into this business uh, or any business in general. I really think this list of things is uh, uh, relatable to a lot of different industries. Uh, so I hope I didn't hurt your feelings. I hope this helps. I hope this gets you into the proper mindset. If you're thinking about doing this, I just want to frame it as 
uh, realistic as possible because it's not easy and uh, a lot of good things in life shouldn't be easy. So keep that in mind. That's today's video. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. More videos coming at you soon. I got a lot of really fun ones in the pipeline. Uh, should be good. Thank you guys for all the support, the comments, the likes, the subscribes. You guys are the best. Be good to one another and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.